Welcome to Study Ball. I am excited about this episode of Study Ball because I'm looking at one of NFL's legends. I'm looking at Drew Brees in this one, kind of, uh, to me, a tribute to Drew Brees on an incredible career, a guy that I so enjoyed watching. Felt like if there was anyone that played the game like I did, or as close to the way I did, it was Drew Brees. I would argue with a lot of people that, hey, I was the most accurate quarterback in NFL history, that I process information just as fast as anybody who's ever played. But if there's one guy that may rival that or may exceed me in those two areas, it's Drew Brees. And so uh, how do you do a tribute to a guy that's played as long as he has and done as many great things as he has? For me, I went back to a game last year where he set the all-time accuracy or completion percentage record for a single game. Now, if there's anybody that deserves to own that record, uh, I remember owning it for a short period of time, uh, it's Drew Brees because that's what he was all about. Accuracy, the ability to put the football wherever he wanted to. So this is a little tribute to him going back to that game to show you guys all the special things that Drew Brees did. A lot of times people in the stands might not understand it all, but I used to love to watch him every Monday morning when I pop on the tape. He was one of the first guys that I wanted to watch because I just appreciate so much how he played the position. So let's take a look at the tape. So I went back and pulled out um, a number of his throws from that game where he set the record. And you're just going to see so many little things here. Okay, so in this particular situation, you'll see him peek to this side. The Colts in this instance, they're going to bring pressure to this side. So Drew knows they're bringing pressure. He's basically hot. Those guys won't be protected. He's got a little swing route over here. He's got a hook route over there. He knows he could go to that side. But the brilliance of Drew Brees is so much about understanding timing and space. I understand that down here on the bottom, I've got my guy, Michael Thomas, one-on-one -on -one down here. And I know I've got pressure coming from the front side. But it doesn't really matter because... Watch the timing of this. Sees the pressure, knows the guys are coming. I mean, nobody even gets close to Drew because his timing is impeccable. He understands when to get the ball out, anticipation, put the ball on the back shoulder. So you see, could have had a completion up there, thrown into the hot. A number of guys could do that, and no problem there. But it's the ability to understand the big picture that separates Drew Brees' completion number one right here. We move on to the second play. So now he's got a, basically a double seam combination, okay? Or what we might call an all go situation. A lot of times you get this middle closed right here, especially with the corners being off on the outside. I'm gonna work that free safety. He sees it right off the bat. This free safety stays on the backside hash. So I'm going to work down here to my seam and try to get the touchdown down here. Just watch how quickly he processes this. Okay, so he's looking to try to get this seam. Linebacker turn, outside linebacker turn and run. What's he going to do? He's not going to force it. Boom, ball's out to his check down in space by reading the little things, processing the game, making the game as simple as possible, as quickly as possible. Gets his feet turned, makes an accurate throw on the boundary, able to pick up some nice yards. These are the things, the little things, okay? He's coming back, knows he's got a go route over here, so he's going to peek at it. This safety's going to turn and rotate to the middle of the field. He knows he's got one-on-one. -on -one. You'll see, eyes, peeks over here, realizes that he doesn't win the one-on-one -on -one over here. So he's going to work back in to this Mike linebacker who matches here with Alvin Kamara up over the top, looking at that safety. That safety's turned his hips the other way. Quick hitch, ball out, into space, ability to process. One, to two, to three, seeing this guy move, seeing that rotation, getting the ball out quick, timing, accuracy, second level throw. If you watch Drew play, this is what he was always about. This is what made him one of the greats in the game, his ability to process and see information. So he's got a similar play Right here, we're gonna have what we call a dig play. 
double ends in this situation. Got a shallow route coming here. Normally you're going to read up top to the shallow, but we always say on this play, don't normally read inside out unless something disappears. They're playing man-to-man -man coverage or we got interior pressure. So they void the middle of the field. So now instead of the outside receiver being number one, the inside receiver becomes number one. We process this, we see it, we get a quick little hitch, waiting for my guy to get into that opening, put the ball on the money once again. Just understanding what he's seeing, knowing where his issues are and how his reads change or how he gets through his reads based on what a defense does. And watch, we're gonna run that double seam again. Seam here, seam here. Two safeties back here, but this guy's basically rolling down. This guy becomes the middle safety here. Just as we talked about on that other go route, the double seams inside. Don't like it on the outside because the corners are soft, so I'm gonna read my safety. Just, I want you to watch the timing of this. Right here is where this guy's hips turn to the inside. Ball's out. Hips turn, ball's out. That's how quickly it happens. He's looking to take the one inside. He's reading this safety right there. That safety settles. He sees that, ball's out, timing in the hole, in between three defenders, perfect placement, quick read, unbelievable processing, and all it takes, one misstep by the safety, boom, ball's out, gone, over, TD for the Saints. There's where the accuracy comes in. When you feel like you're accurate, you feel like you can make any throw in any window, these are the kind of plays that you can have. Play action, this guy's running back, this guy's in position, they're trying to run it over, this guy's here, this guy's chasing, this corner's turning, starting to get out of there, but Drew just knows, this ball's going over here, and as long as nobody up high is taking this away, I am accurate enough that I will avoid anybody underneath with my throw, right? Look at this, I mean, who's telling me this is open? Is that open? Nope, but Drew's right there throwing the football. But he's throwing it because he sees body language, right? He's watching this guy, seeing how he turns and flattens off. He understands he's got space here. He knows that this corner is leaving. So even if this guy runs, I can lay this ball up and over where only I can put it. Look at this. He puts it up and over. It's like we're talking about. Michael starts to flatten it, but it's got such touch and accuracy that his receiver has the ability to adjust. It's what we call throwing guys open. I know where the hole is. He might not. Let me put air on this football so he can adjust to it, drop it in the bucket. Still a nice catch there, but a great throw. And it's all about the timing, accuracy, and touch of Drew Brees that makes this a completion. Just phenomenal football, phenomenal quarterbacking and the ability to say, defense can do just about everything right, but I just feel like I'm better than the defense in every situation because of all the things that I bring to the table. Okay, we're gonna play Tampa two. Two high safeties here. This Mike Backer is taught he's got to run to the middle and also take the underneath middle area. So he's trying to read number three. If three goes vertical, he'll run with them. If he hooks, he's got to figure out if he's gonna squat on that or come and play number two if he's going vertical. Settles his feet right there. Again, all it takes. Look how quick this ball is out. Balance, quick hitch, read. He stops his feet. Drew's already throwing this football. Safeties have no chance. Puts the ball up and over the linebacker, splits the safeties, gets himself another touchdown. Processing, understanding what he's seeing, understanding where he's got a two-on-one right here. Get your eyes there. Make the game simple. Don't have to overthink it. I got one of, the, one of the two. He squats, ball over. I got myself another touchdown. Now we're going to end right here. Okay, so 
he has a day where he has one incompletion on the day to set the all-time NFL record. And I know without a doubt, I haven't talked to Drew about this. I actually called the game for Westwood One. So I remember watching this game and I remember seeing him set the record and, and all the things that went into it. And this is his one incompletion. And I know he's beating himself up about this, probably for a couple reasons. Okay, first he's got a corner here and then a post coming to the middle of the field. You can see his eyes, his eyes start on this safety right here. And if this safety stays high or inside, he's gonna read corner to swing. Safety kinda plays it right in between, keeps his safeties, or keeps his hips uh, flat. And so Drew goes to the post a little bit soon on this without his read. It gets a little bit cloudy and he ends up, you'll see, this isn't Drew. His feet are facing this way because he got a little bit impatient on his read. I think he could have just stayed right over here and read two on one on this corner, but he went back inside, didn't feel comfortable with it, didn't know where the pressure was because it had taken a little bit longer. Normally you don't see him hitching quite that much, doesn't bring his feet with him and makes an errant throw. And this is the only incompletion of the game. I just showed you a bunch of other things. This is probably the easiest throw he had in this football game. Turn his feet, hit this little route right here, and he would have been perfect on the day. Would have had a perfect completion percentage on the day, something that's never happened with a guy that's thrown, I think, over 20, 22 passes in a game. And so I know he's beating himself up over this throw because that's easy for Drew Brees. Just got away from his technique a little bit, one time in the game, but it was his only blemish, and you see how incredible he is with so many different things. I know he wish he had this one back. Just so much fun to watch. I could break down Drew Brees' tape over and over and over again because I just love to watch his mind work, what he's looking at, where his eyes go right off the bat, how he sees the little movement of all the guys on the football field, or maybe more importantly, the guy he's supposed to be reading. Doesn't let it get clouded with too many different things. He's got unbelievable technique, accuracy, timing, just such a joy to watch. I appreciate the fact that I got to witness a big part of his career, got a chance to play against him a couple times, but uh, more importantly than anything, just love the way he plays the game. If I'm ever teaching young guys how to play and they want to go watch a guy, I mean, there's some special players in our league, but most of those guys don't play with the technique uh, and the processing and the accuracy of Drew Brees. Maybe not the tallest, not the most athletic, not the biggest arm, but he made an unbelievable career, one of the greats to ever play the game because of those little things that he did, and he did them as well as anybody who's ever played the game. So salute to Drew Brees, one of the greats. We're going to miss you, my man, but uh, we appreciate the fact that we got a chance to watch you all these years.